Whew. <laughs> oh man. Oh God. That's a big one. This is my new PB. Hey, good morning, everybody. We are about to do some carp and catfishing. I've got some worms to catch some bluegill, other panfish, some bait, and we'll cut those up for some catfish. Then we've got our pack bait, oats, sweet feed, corn, sugar, and uh, we're gonna try to anchor up in some shallow water and do some carp fishing. So sit back, relax, and let's go catch some fish. Did have some. I was beginning to think I didn't have any. That is a lucky, lucky find right there. So let's get this. Well, if I can hold on to it, let's get this split shot on here. We're uh, worm fishing. I'll show you this if y'all can see it. Let's see what I do is got a little bobber stop right there. That little black bobber stop. A little slip float, you can see it. Slides up and down to a split shot, somewhere around 10 to 12 inches above a little size eight hook. So that is our rig. These bad boys are the best. Best worms you can get. Cause you ain't gotta keep them cold, so it's awesome. Um, but warning, warning, if they do get hot, they will die. So keep them in the shade, keep them cool. You don't have to keep them in a fridge or anything like that. Let's try this other side. There's a lot more. There's more sun over here. Um, some more logs too, so much better chance, much higher chance we get hung up right here. Actually, whew, I got sweat dripping in my mouth. This will probably be the last 30 minutes we'll sit here. This is our second baiting of this area. Um, it's getting a little bit later in the morning. Some more people are coming out and it's gonna just get really rough and choppy over here. So um, after this, we're gonna pull back into a creek and uh, find a choke point and we're gonna fish that for some carp. So we won't stay in this little spot too much longer. Oh, he took it under. I just wasn't paying attention. Shoot. There he is. Oop. Come here. You all twisted, ain't you? Yep. Pretty, though, for a little guy. I'm going to let him back. He's a little too small. I want him, I want him to be a little bit bigger. Get some decent fillets out of them. So let's try pretty uh, pretty close spot. There's a little stump it looks like right there. Yeah, uh, missed it. And again, there is a stump. I can't see anything, but knowing that stump is there. Should be some fish holding up around it. Dang, they're just spitting it. Granted, I am using a big piece of worm for, you know, small fish, but I like to double it up. Um, that way, if they do snatch a little bit, I've still got some meat on the hook 
and I can keep fishing for a second and not worry too much about having to put new worm on constantly just over and over so that's the reason I like to uh, put a little bit more extra worm on the uh, the hook I mean that's a big old chunk of worm for a bluegill so it's about 20 feet 25 feet from the boat so that's in between a bunch of logs. There's a log that runs that way. There's one over there. There's a stump right here or a rock. I can't really tell what that is. So right now we got this just kind of floating in the center of them. Doesn't look like any hits back there on that one. So something's pecking at it. Come on. Got him. There we go. You are a bluegill, Mr. Bluegill. We got a green pumpkin seed, I think. I think that's what that is. And then this one, just a little tiny, shoot, four inch, three inch bluegill. That's the smallest thing I've ever seen. All right. I want to see what we could get back over there closer to the bank because something was real aggressive with it just a second ago. Yep, here come the wake boats. So it'll be time to pull up out of here in about 15 minutes. That's all we're gonna give the, the pack bait. That'll give that camera a chance to cool down too, so. There's something there. Tiny, they're just tiny, tiny. That's why they ain't hooking it. Too tiny. Okay, that's a little bit better. About a full five inch. We'll go ahead and keep him, throw him in the live well. Now we may not use him, and then we'll just let it, you know, we'll throw him back later, but. Well, let me pop the hook out of your mouth. Which way did you get it in there? Went around this way, that way, and. I'm kind of holding him in my hand, awkward to pop it out. There it goes, all right. So let's go ahead and throw you in the live well. All right, well, first spot didn't pan out, so now we're gonna, we just pulled up, we're gonna go find somewhere a little bit more um, quiet, less uh, less busy. Like I said, it's Sunday, it's 90 something degrees today. Beautiful day, so it's the boat, the lake's already getting busy. So we're pulled up, we're gonna go, I don't know, probably about 10 minutes, 10 minute ride, and then we'll, uh, we'll be able to shallow anchor and fish again. Yeah, we won't go anywhere now, so now let's fish. Woo! That rain. I don't want to get soaked, but also I don't really care because it has been so freaking hot today. We're just going to roll with it. Don't even matter.
Okay. Whew. Let's get them out there. Oh, that feels so good. I'm so excited and so happy for this rain to come through. Okay. Got one out. Let's get... The second one out. Oh man, the rain's just coming. I'm gonna have to put the pop up after all. Shoot. So now we're getting flooded. I'm getting flooded in here. Ugh. All right, well, let's put her up. That's what we got her for. Whew. Nope, there we go. That's something. Come on. There he is. That's a carp. He might have already got us hung up, though. Ah, uh, that might be a catfish. He's pulling now. He's pulling like a carp now. Get him under this one. See where he wants to go. To the bank. There he goes. Come on. Straight over there to the rocks. Keep him out of all that crap. Come on. Come on. Tighten up the drag just a little bit. Oh my gosh. Pretty good fish right here. This is a feels good. Feels real good. No 
Don't do it. He done got us hung up, didn't he? Come on. Is it a buffalo? Now nah, it looks like a common, yeah. Just a good size common. That's a big one. It's a good size. I need to extend this net, but I ain't got time right now. So come on, buddy. There we go. Whew. Nice. Huh. Nice fish. Nice fish. All right. <clears throat> That's a big one. That is a uh, 12 pound at least. I'm trying to find my pliers to get them out of here. So make sure that didn't overheat. All right. Let's see what we got here. Right in the side of the mouth. Perfect do. You definitely weren't getting out of that one. <sighs> he done got it twisted. There we go. All right. Well, I knew there were signs of carp here. Um, Again, he's probably somewhere over 10. He's pretty big, pretty fat, pretty tail. I mean, that's just a nice, solid common. Good fight, too. I mean, he was strong, very strong. Right, give him a kiss. Mwah. All right. Let's get you back in there, buddy. There he goes. All right. Well, there's fish one. Let's see if we can't get another one. Or a couple, actually. I'd love to catch a couple before we got to get out of here. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, sit for a second and I'm gonna start with this one, but I'm gonna go ahead and rebate them all. He's gonna hit that antenna. He's gonna hit his light again, ain't he? And, yep. Mm. Some people should not have boats. All right, let's go ahead and uh, freshen up all of them. Wow, there he is again. Come on. That's him. Come on this way, get back, get back. I'm trying to keep him out of that line with the bluegill fillet on it. That is some strong pull right there. I've got this drag pretty tight. Trying to see if he's over or under this one, I don't know. Might be over it there, that's okay.
Heading for the bank. Trying to pull him up in the water column a little bit and get him over this other line. It's a good one, another good one. Feels strong, feels, feels good size. I'm giving just a tiny bit of drag. Could just be a young feisty little guy. Dang, seeing some swelling out there where he's coming up close to the surface, but he's not surfaced yet, so I haven't even got a good glimpse of him. Have to wear him down because he's not even come to the surface. I have no idea on the size of this thing. Just trying to keep him on this side of that line and on this side of the boat. He's going to probably pull right here. Shoot, hands cramping up. I still have not seen him. Like he's still not come up high enough for me to see him. All right, here he comes. I'm gonna give him a little bit more pressure, try to coax him up. Oh, that's a big one. That is bigger than the last one. From what I saw, looked like a real good size carp. Yeah, that is a, that's a big one. This could be a PB. This could be a PB. Come on, baby. Do not break me off and get away from that tree. Uh-oh. I think we're looking at a PB. Oh my God, yeah, that's a PB. Oh my God, this could be a maybe 15, 20, maybe 20 pounds. Oh, come on, baby. Woo, you are strong. God. Come on. I got too much crap back here. Come on. I need to get you closer to the boat and get you in the net. Come on. Come on. I don't even care about these other rods right now if something else hits. This is a PB. I'm going to have to weigh them in the net. Hopefully, my scale is working. He's big. This is a big one. I gotta give him some drag. I don't want him to pop it off. That is a big carp. I don't know if he's been on the camera yet, but that thing is a monster. Yeah, and what fight. He is not giving up at all. That's it. That is a PB. I know it. I can tell just by seeing how huge he is. Oh my God. Don't want to lose him, but dang, this fish is strong. I'm going to try to get him in here though. It's been a long little fight with him. Come on. Come on, my net's barely big enough for this thing. Come on, baby, come on, come on. 
Come on this way. Come on, come on. Come on. You ain't giving up yet. I can't can't do anything with you until you start to get tired on me. Okay. Come on. Yeah, that's a that's a that's a stud. Oh. All right, I can't lose him. I got to figure out this net. I got to get it extended. Yeah. Okay. He's starting to give up. Gosh, that is a PB. Woof. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, God. That's a big one. This is my new PB. Oh, God. What a fish. We gotta get the scales out. Oh, oh my God. I gotta call my old lady. Whew, she's gonna love this one. Where is my phone? Ah, all right. Oh, my God. I'm gonna call her real quick. Oh man, I gotta make sure this camera's on. Get the scales out. All right, I'm gonna unhook you, weigh you. Actually, yeah, let's unhook you and then weigh you, cause you, you're a big old fish. What is going on here with this net? I don't know, but that is a huge carp. Oh my God. This is my PB. <clears throat> oh man. I'm so excited. This is awesome. All right, scales at zero. Take my glasses off, I can see better. Scales at zero. Let's hook it. Nineteen point eight. Twenty pounder. That is. A 20 pound carp. Let me try to. Set it down. I'm going to redo it. All right, it's zeroed out. Ugh. Oh, man. Yeah, 19 something. What a fish. Oh my God. Oh, PB. That's a PB, baby. Oh, God. What a fish. I got to get some pictures with him. Ah. Hey babe, I just got my PB. Oh my God, he's 20 pounds. Really? Yeah, oh my God, he's massive. Have you weighed him or are you just guessing? No, I went ahead and weighed it. It was 19.8. Wow. Oh, record? it's not a record, but I mean, for me it is. Ugh. It is my PB. Hang on, can you see me or no? Yeah. Okay, <laughs> oh God. I don't know. I have to prop my phone up, but babe, what a fish. 
Can you see him? Oh my God. Look how wide that thing is. Huge. Oh God, he's big. Yeah, that's a monster. Oof. I'm getting him back now. He's been out for a couple minutes, so he's going back now. But that's him, look at him. Look at that, jeez. What a monster. What a monster. All right, babe. Oh, there he is. Oh, my God. Oh, huh? Yeah, they really are. Oh, my gosh. Uh, Did you cut yourself? I don't know. What do you mean? I just saw blood. Oh, I don't know. Maybe. Who knows? Huh. My back's hurting. Oh. Wow. Babe, that's huge. You're so good. It's a 20-pound car. Oh, I'm taking a break for a minute. Oh. It took like four. Wow. It took like four minutes to get him to like get tired i mean he just kept pulling at first i was like this is just going to be a little a little small feisty one and then i finally seen him and i was like holy crap monster good job babe Anyways. thanks for facetiming me i'm glad i could partially beat her i know i just i face i wanted wanted to facetime my old lady uh, mm -hmm. thanks Oh, got another one. Oh, got another one. Got another one. Oh, my God. What? Oh, God. You can stay on for it. Oh, my gosh. It's another good one. Maybe not. Maybe not 20. Huh? Maybe it's the same one. I mean, it could be. He's out there, too. I mean, he's pretty far. I don't know if you can see. I can't really see what the camera's looking at. Oh, huh? Are you at that? Where the good yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, I'm at the the, the bridge, the choke point. So yeah. I, I struck out at two places. This one's either got me hung up or he's sitting at the bottom, not moving. So I'm not really sure, but I don't huh. I don't feel anything. And that happened with the last one. I thought he broke off, but like he literally just wasn't moving, and like he was so strong, I thought I was just hung up. But I actually might be hung up. I can't tell. Dang it. Yeah, he might have wrapped me around something. I'm not sure. All right, babe. I'm going to hop off here so I can get this unhooked. All right. Love you. Love you. Bye. Bye. Oh, I can't tell if he's still on there or not. I mean, it kind of feels like something's on there, but he ain't fighting. I think he'd unwrapped us around something. Mm. Yep, I think he got us wrapped in something. Dang it. Well. God. Yep. Trying to see if I can pick it up, if it's a log or... Mm. Yeah, I think he done got us hung up. Dang it. Mm. Trying to pop it, but this braid's pretty strong. I forget what this is, maybe 30. <sighs> ah, okay. He 
he was on there. If we still got a hook, I'm gonna be very, very shocked. Oh my gosh, we do. And the hook's not dulled out or anything, huh? Well, let's get it back out there. We gotta catch us another one, that's fun. 20 pound, well, 19 if you take off a pound for the net. That, that, that net's not very heavy, so. We'll say 18, that was an 18 pounder. That was a, that's my biggest carp. That was my biggest, that's my PB. And that was fun. That was fun. Ah, uh, 20. Yeah. Yeah, that was my PB. Yeah, it was awesome. 20 pound carp. Yeah, that was awesome. Yeah. Appreciate it. That's a fish. Oh my gosh. Might have snagged him, but <laughs> I was just reeling in to set up. I don't think he's big at all, but yeah, he ain't very big. He's a good size one. He ain't giant. Under 10. Ah, just a little guy. Just a little guy. Oh. All right, boys and girls. Literally. I was gonna leave in just a minute. Dang it, now, now it's harder to leave. Um, I forgot why that net keeps collapsing on me right there. Ugh, come here, buddy. Pop you out and get you on your way. Mm. Okay, it's a little one. He's four to five pounds, four probably. Not very big, but um, I think I got another 10, 15 minutes. So we're gonna rebate, get them back out there. I already just did the two, and then I was I was reeling that one in um, to rebate it. And as soon as I lift it up, snagged him so he was just out there just munching away on some food but uh yeah just a little four pound nothing big but give him a kiss Mwah. good size good little carp all right
All right, well, that's gonna wrap that up. We uh, got those three cart, got my new PB. That was awesome. Almost 20 pound. So it was 19.8 in the net. That net's not very big or heavy. So we'll take off pound and we'll just call it 18. Uh, that seems fair to me. And uh, that was fun. Got that surprise one. We lost one. Um, took us took us a lot, a lot of work to, to get somewhere where we could catch some cart. But finally, finally managed to find them and, and had a pretty productive day. But whew, I got to get on out of here and uh, got a lot to do. And it's getting hot again. So at any rate, uh, appreciate you guys watching and uh, I'll see you on the next one. Thanks.